What's up, motherfuckers? It's your neighborhood ghost, ghosty, and happy Halloween. Or late happy Halloween, depending when this video is uploaded. So I've been having difficulties with my PC as of late, so this is why this video was kind of like seemed rushed or just seemed a bit off. It's because my PC is actually kind of dying. Some of the stuff doesn't work that well, so things are quite slow. Rendering, trying to draw something, and all that stuff, which is why this video is probably seemed kind of rushed or seems kind of fine. I have no idea. I'm hoping to upload this on Halloween. If not, it's going to be a very late happy Halloween. Halloween. So yeah, let me just get into the meat of this video. Uh, I'm probably gonna be talking throughout this video, just describing a few things and hearing all that stuff. And yeah, for this uh, happy Halloween sort of video, I want to revisit a piece I did for one of my Halloween videos, which was like this witch on like a cliff side or something. I was quite young and looking back at this one art piece, I am kind of cringing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I went back to this character. This was a random like witch character. I wanted to do like a little art piece for Halloween because Halloween was is my favorite holidays. I enjoy it. I love like the little spooky season and all that stuff. Everyone's gonna love Halloween because like, you know, it's all about the scariness, the spooky and the candy and all that stuff. I just love it. It's always been like my favorite holiday and it should be my favorite holiday considering I am a human ghost hybrid, which probably doesn't make sense, but it makes sense somehow in this world. <laughs> So what I decided is for for a bit because I wasn't quite sure I wasn't going to be able to do this because of my PC and the fact is I didn't know if I was going to be trying to set up a new PC or not but I am not getting a new PC yet so I had to rush this bit so yeah I decided to grab this witch character and redesign her for the actual art piece purpose so yeah. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. Uh, so basically I took the original design of the character, redraw it into like sort of this rough sketch sort of a design of like the original design of the character, which is basically all its colors, all close to the colors and like the design of the clothing, which is, it was terrible to redraw it again. I don't know what my younger self was thinking by designing it like that, but I know that was my younger self during that and that was around the time I had a blue jacket on my character and that was so like a kind of a hard for design choice but that was me being young but anyways so i decided to take that character design redesign it twice and then finalize it on the third design mixing the two designs together i will show up the uh the design process of it. I don't have the speed paint, another speed paint video, but the video of the footage of me drawing them out and sketching them out and stuff. So I'm just going to show you an image of the OG uh, design <laughs> and the one and two designs I did. Uh, one is basically the first design I did and the second is the second design I did, just changed up a bit. And then the third character design you'll probably see uh, during uh, the speed paint, but I will show the character sheet that I've used for the third design just for a little context of what I'm following because I did not include it in the footage because it was on my second monitor and my PC does want to record on the second monitor so you're just seeing what I was drawing for a while and you probably can see that my desktop, well not my desktop but my open um, windows and stuff is a bit different uh, how I set things up in the two footage or well, all the footage basically so yeah let's get into this special halloween art okay this is me talking over the footage now i do apologize if you hear me breathing in i do breathe in quite heavily and i usually try to cut those out especially with this video but at the moment i'm just way too tired to try to do that i do uh, get short breath sometimes especially when doing these seven videos so I do apologize if you can hear me breathing in a lot. Um, I do have kind of breathing problems anyways, so yeah, I do apologize about that. So before I start recording like my process of drawing my character, which I ironically gave her a name and I gave her the name of Miss Halloween. I know, very cliche, especially what type of art piece this is meant to be. Yes, I know, I'm bad. I'm very bad. But um, yeah. I first um, used the 3D models to get the position I want for my character, which it was either like sitting down, standing, or just, you know, lying down or flying or whatever. I tried different positions, none of them didn't suit right, so I decided to make a sort of sitting 
um, position for the character, and I gave her a broom, the cliche bloom, blo bloom, broom, <laughs> the cliche broom that you would give a witch so they can fly around and see the world and all that stuff. That's why I basically did my character. I know a uh, drawing from the 3D model is kind of frowned upon or people don't like it because it just seems like you're cheating and stuff but I use the 3D models because I am partially blind and it's hard to keep the same proportion of arms knowing what you're looking at because sometimes I can miss details or miss certain parts so having the 3D model actually helps me a lot to keep a similar proportion or trying to make the character look great. I know I could have done it in better ways but this is kind of like the only way I kind of found that was super helpful. So just want to explain myself there uh, just to let people know even if they don't care or not that's kind of like why I use 3D models just to clear out there that you know I am partially blind and this is how I use the models to help me out. I know it's like probably the quote unquote wrong, wrong way but I just use them because it's quite convenient for myself and keeping my art style the way it is now. So yeah. Um, I also, um, well not I also, god damn I'm already messing up. Um, so after sketching up character I went into my liner which the liner was quite fun. I was actually using new tools so when I draw a line there's a tool that I can use that I can redraw the line without getting rid of the previous line just to adjust a little bit and there was another tool that I use for making my lines either thick or thin but it was quite nice to use because I want to have my outside lines to be thick and my inside lines to be thin with certain uh, parts being thick some parts of the lines were quite funky the way they are but uh, maybe um, in the future I'll try to figure out how to sort that out but um, yeah, I decided to try to put them in different layers, like there's a hat layer, there's like a face layer, hair layer, just so I could keep them separate so I don't accidentally edit one and it just comes completely wrong. So I tried to keep them separate. Make sure you have multiple lines, not lines, multiple layers for when you're doing this. Oh yeah, the shoe. The heels were so hard to draw, I'm not gonna lie to you. Trying to draw the heel, like the spike bit at the back was so hard to like trying to adjust and make it look right. And of course I went to the coloring stage where I did my colors, my flat layers, and I used a tool to try to cover those white dots but it didn't work out so well so I'm going to be trying to figure out how to do that without just individually just go over them and just color them in and stuff. There, were, there was a white but it didn't work for me for some reason so I'm going to try it again. Oh yeah there was a little thing I like to do with my eyes is I usually make the little like um, sparkles or like the highlights of the eyes into like different shapes. So for Miss Halloween, I decided to make it into a little potion bottle, which is kind of simple. And of course, I did that makeup at the end. I decided to do, I like to do my little markings um, just after the flat layers because then it just helps not put it on the same layer as the colors because it can get messed up and all that. And of course the colors are gone but they are still there i painted the whole character white so it's easier to shadow i used to just add the shadows whenever i use the colors but i always find those colors doesn't help that much for me especially when i'm trying to shadow my characters shadowing and highlighting is like the worst parts i can do in an art piece but i had fun doing this especially now i use more of a white color to actually see where my shadows are and it makes more sense like i could see where the shadows meant to do, uh, go because i tried to make the light point from the left to the bottom right and of course the highlights i tried to put them where they should be i like to say i struggled highlights i struggled shadows and all that stuff but honestly it was fun to make this character miss halloween I would have added like a little filter to her, like a little um, gradient on top of her, but my PC was lagging at this point when I got to the coloring, especially doing the background, when I tried to use different brushes, 
so I didn't try so much with the background so I went for like sort of like this cloudy sky that's purple with different highlights and I did add some glows to the pumpkins and her eyes a little bit like a red glow but honestly trying to do the background was quite difficult because like I said the whole like um, brushes weren't working so I added the background more of cloudy I could have done this better and of course I did uh, readjust the size of the canvas just so it's not too big so I don't have to worry about a lot of bits in the piece and that is it and that is miss halloween um my halloween piece i feel like i talked a lot and i know that you guys probably hear me breathing a lot i can't help it i do try to cut this out because it is annoying to hear especially for me but i'm getting to the point now i'm just like okay i'm just gonna leave them in and that's gonna be annoying for other people but um yeah and that is miss halloween i hope you guys like her I hope you like her redesign, especially from her previous design. Um, I'm actually quite happy about it. I wish I could have done better, but I was very limited because of how my PC was processing everything. It was annoying, but honestly, I'm happy how it came out. And I, like I said, I wish I could have done a bit more, but maybe next Halloween, I'll try it again. But yeah, but that is Miss Halloween. I hope you guys like her and all this stuff. So that is pretty much it for me. Ghosty. Ghosting out.